All right, guys, another reaction video, very popular. People love them. Um, I have not seen this one yet. I'm told it has something to do with Janet Yellen and the debt ceiling. Oh. Um, I don't watch videos very often, which is kind of <laughs> ironic because I have a YouTube channel, but I don't watch many videos. Uh, we do these reactions. Mo and I discuss these kind of things. Mo and I don't care what's going on in the news. Yeah. We just literally look at it and go, okay, that's cute. Mm -hmm. We value that, but that's why in the last two years when we were valuing companies, everybody's like, you think everything's overpriced. Yeah, I do, but it's not because I'm just being a jerk. It's because I look at things from a long-term perspective. Just because a company's booming today doesn't mean it's going to boom for the next 30 years. In fact, all evidence points otherwise. Right. So the debt ceiling is a major conversation every so often. And so let's hear what's going to happen now. Sarah, take it away. Thank you so much, John Ford, and thank you, Secretary Yellen, for making time to talk to us today. Good to see you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. So you... I'm glad she's not yelling into the microphone. Old yeller. <laughs> You've been warning about this date, June 1st, that we need to raise the debt ceiling or else it could be a disaster, a financial catastrophe. Can you just walk us through what that looks like if it doesn't get done? Because so far, sure. there's no deal on the table. So our projection is that in early June, and possibly even as early as June 1st, um, the Treasury will run out of um, cash and extraordinary measures that we're using to pay our bills while staying below the debt ceiling. And so I can't take her seriously. We'll to give, we just will not have, <laughs> if Congress doesn't raise the debt ceiling, we just will not have enough money at that time um, to be able to pay all of the bills the government just owes. Print it. And this would be really the first so, time. It, what Mo's saying is just print it is it's a theory called modern monetary theory where people say we don't need to care about deficits. You just print money and everything is fine. And it worked for a few years because we had no repercussions and all of a sudden inflation rears its ugly head. And to which we always say, if that's all it takes, then just print the money. Right. Now, back to the debt ceiling. Yeah. I'm hoping that they default. Be incredible. Of course, I'm biased. I have short positions. I want the market to be lower. I want to buy stocks at much cheaper prices. That is my bias here. Spoiler alert, it probably isn't going to happen. It probably ain't going to happen. Why? This is all political posturing to get to a certain point where everybody starts to blame everybody. And sometimes somebody wrote, maybe, maybe a default is probably what this country needs. I, you know, I don't disagree. We need to get to a point where there's enough money coming in to cover our bills. And this debt ceiling means we're just, it's what you're doing is you've been paying your mortgage and all your expenses, your credit card. Now you're going to your bank saying, can you give me a higher credit card limit? That's all it is, right? All right, let's see what uh, Janet has to say. Time since 1789 that uh, such a thing would have occurred. And um, it's really essential that Congress raise the debt ceiling so that um, we're not in a position of defaulting on our bills. It's that something that could produce financial chaos would um, drastically reduce the amount of spending would mean that Social Security. Good. <laughs> I'm not opposed to reducing the A amount of spending. Amount. Yeah. Drastically reduce spending. Good idea. It's yeah. A novel concept. Yeah. Very novel. Um, OK, let's keep going. Pretty recipients and veterans mm. and people counting on. Um, money from the government. That that's, that's what sucks, though. There are a lot of people <clears throat> who paid in Social Security. We're in the military, getting benefits, and it. And you know, I. You know what I say? Give them their money. Cut everything else. Yeah. Congress, you don't get paid anymore. I'm all these people. Like everything gets. Listen, we have too much government. I don't know a single person, no matter what party they are, that think the government is a inefficient and good. I have one person who says, "Why should we care if they're efficient?" And I laughed at that person. Getting things, so I'm on the in in the in my town. I'm on the uh, board of zoning. Whatever. Here we go. But listen, my point Here is, my we point go. in saying this. Yeah. There's three trustees. Do you know how hard it is to work with these three trustees and get something? And done? your town has 4,800 people in exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> Imagine what it's like in Congress. Like you saw, you heard me what I was saying last week, and it's just like this is three people in a township. How does anything get done at this level? Yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. Guys, the debt ceiling, is, it, it, like I said, it's all political posturing. We do have to be concerned about our debt, but not in the sense of 
It's very simple. Just stop the deficit. Now, how do you do that? It's simple, but not easy. Well, you got to get both sides of the aisle to agree to, of course, my bias is spending cuts. I've never heard anybody go to the government, go to the government and say, man, that went really well. That was very fast. All right. Spending cuts. There's no accountability there. That's all that matters. I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. If you believe the government is efficient and working well, you are stupid. You might actually be dumber than a crypto enthusiast. That's actually a valid point. We found somebody that's dumber. Who? We found somebody that's dumber than a crypto enthusiast. Oh, yes. I don't think this person really exists. You don't? I, know. I do. You think there's people out there who really yes. believe the government is efficient? I do. Come on. I do. Yes. I do. If we put a survey on our YouTube channel, I think people would write, yes, they're efficient, just to be funny. I know. I, I, I do think that they think it's efficient. I think that you could find somebody out there that does believe it. Listen, I went to the University of Michigan, a largely liberal university. I didn't even have anybody there agree that the government's efficient. Their just comment I'm was not, like, listen, we don't need to be efficient. The, the goal of the government is to blah, 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 blah. It's like, I okay. kind of want to go out boots on the ground and do surveys of people. Mo walking? But we have... To, there you go. But we have to do it in all different areas. We have to go everywhere. Okay. I kind of got to do this. You gotta, my, my, listen, we've always talked about going this out is, there. This might be something. All right, let's keep going. Contractors, uh, we just wouldn't have enough money to pay the bills. And I think it's widely agreed that yeah. um, this would be a huge... Just to bring that out further, so <laughs> where do bondholders fit in in terms of the prioritization of who gets paid in a technical default? Keep in mind... I have uh, 90% of my, no, 95% of my investable money is sitting in 90-day treasuries. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to get paid. <laughs> All right. Do they get prioritized or is it just about paying the bills as soon as the money comes in? Well, you know, I, I would say that if Congress doesn't raise the, the debt ceiling, is Jenny? Oh, the president will Lord. have to okay? make some decisions about... Um, what to do with the resources that we do have. And there are a variety of different options, but there are no good options. Every option is a bad option. And um, I really don't want to get into discussing them and ranking them because, um, as every Treasury secretary has known, the only option that really leaves our economy in good shape is, and our financial system, is raising the debt ceiling and making clear that Congress stands behind the basic principle that America pays its bills. We're not a deadbeat country. Yeah. <laughs> and if that's compromised, um, even in the run-up to it, if it oh, looks like great. we're going to go up against the ceiling and may not get it done, that will... Ha How many times does this happen? Uh, actually, happen like every question. two years? Yeah. yeah. This is like when they... Guys, it happens they, every two years. It's all political. It's purely, purely political. Both sides come out there and say the other side is responsible for this. This is all gibberish. Guys, if you haven't realized that both sides are exactly the same, then you're the sucker at the table. I'm pointing at the sucker at the table. I wasn't listening to you. What did you say? <laughs> Rephrase. What are you looking up right now? How many times the U.S. has defaulted? On, oh, it's well, defaulted. wait a second. Hang on a second. There's a lot of people out there saying the U.S. has defaulted. And it was on like stupid stuff that I don't even want to talk about. They're talking about like it's totally different non-default that they're talking about That's here. from the government website. Yeah, it, it's stupid. I, I don't want to hear it when, you know what it's like? It's like when people say, we're not a democracy, we're a republic. Yeah, I get that. I understand what you're saying, but stop being annoying. It's people who are trying to sound like all fancy and stuff like that. So um, guys, mm. that's where we stand right now. It's... It is what it is. I don't know what's going to, I don't, I, I, I don't know if we're going to, I do. I'm very, 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 very sure that they'll come to a deal. And I'm very, 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 very much hoping they do not come to a deal. <laughs> so there's my bias. It's right here out in front of you because if they do default, I imagine it'll lead to massive falls in stock price. So guys, thanks very much for your time. Subscribe to the channel and share this with somebody who uh, wants to hear Janet yell and talk. Take care. Very slowly.